What's going on, everybody? Blake and Jeff here. I'm Blake. He's Jeff. We are back with another trailer reaction. Uh, the TV... Well, not TV. Streaming. The streaming. Uh, Peacock Original. Yeah. The Continental from the world of John Wick. Yes. So they put all that in the, in the title so that you're not confused as to what this is. Well, you would think... Anyone who's seen any of the John Wick franchise would know what the Continental is. Yeah. But I guess this is to try and entice people who don't know what John Wick is mm. to come watch this show. That seems weird. You've heard of John Wick. Everyone's heard of John Wick. You've uh, never seen it. Right. But you know that people really like it. So yes. come check out the Continental. Right. The Peacock original. The prequel that doesn't have John Wick in it. That does not have Keanu Reeves at all. Right. Doesn't have any of the actors from the from the movies. Not unless at some point... Not unless at some point they do a they time do jump. They do a time jump. Or they do like a... I don't know. A flash forward? Maybe. I don't know. But I wouldn't think so. A flash forward. Excuse me. I said that like a hillbilly and I had to correct myself. Hmm. Um, yeah, we had a uh, little teaser a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Now I guess this is the official trailer, according to Peacock. Yes, full trailer. How do you feel about Peacock? I'm not a huge fan. You, have, you don't have it? No, yeah. um, I don't have it. I think... There were only two shows I've watched on it, uh, Mrs. Davis, which was pretty good, mm -hmm. uh, and Poker Face, which I really enjoyed. I've watched one episode of Twisted Metal. Well, that's about as good an endorsement as you're going to get. And it is what it is. Yeah. People seem to really like I it. I know. I, it's actually, I'm surprised. Yeah. That people seem to really enjoy it, so I might have to check it out. Just hey, the see. first episode was fine. There's some interesting you know. stuff. It's uh, it's campy and you know whatever. But yeah. but if you I'm, lean into that, yeah, if you lean into that, you'll be fine. I'm hoping though this is not campy. I don't. Th I mean, based on the teaser, I don't think it's campy. Yeah. Um. I we'll, we'll see when we watch this because it'll be a, a much bigger view of what it is. Yeah. But I don't. I don't anticipate it being as good as John Wick. Sure. I don't think the action is going to be as good as John Wick. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Are you more excited for the Continental or for Ballerina? Probably Ballerina, just because I like Anna Darmus. I mean, Who come doesn't? on. Who doesn't? Um, and Keanu will make an appearance in that one. So. That's got a direct tie yeah. to Keanu. Plus, it's a movie. Yeah, plus it's a movie. This is a show. Although it's a three... Like... Three episodes? They're like calling them events. So they're like three so little So I think they're going to be movies. like three little movies. I think they're going to be like an hour and a half. So it'd be like three episodes of a show at a time, three times. That's what they're billing it as. Okay. Not not a weekly series, just three events. Uh, all right. So they're getting mm -hmm. too yeah they're getting too loosey goosey with all these uh, streaming services and look they're just trying to figure out and stuff. what works and I don't like it. you know maybe they got these done and they were like you know what this is gonna work better as like standalone I don't sections like it I said. Of the story? I want standard 24 minutes, six minutes of commercials, interspersed throughout. Sure. Go back to classic TV, right? I mean, you would think Peacock of all of them would be the one to do that since it's NBC, but I guess not. They're seeing everybody else doing weird-ass release strategies, and they were like, we got to get part me some Part one, that. part two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this nonsense of like well, the whole season except for the last episode that'll come out in uh, ten months from now. You're like, what? Yeah, it's wild. The Attack on Titan. <laughs> well, they did that with Stranger Things too. They did like 
six or seven episodes, and then yeah. two months later, the final two episodes. Yeah. But they were super long. They were like movies. I know. So, see, I think that's what they watched that, and they were like, hey, let's do that. Jesus. Jesus, why? Save um, us. I don't know. Um, all right, well, we've talked about it enough. You ready sure. to watch it? Yeah, let's do it. Wet our whistle on the Continental? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, a little trailer before the trailer. Trailer for the trailer. Thanks. A suit doesn't make a man. That's what's inside the suit that counts. Like the like the pockets? It's yeah, resourcefulness. The pockets. And perhaps an open heart. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, I haven't finished my drink. I mean, he's trying to do the this voice. Sacred institution wields power beyond your imagination. Winston, your brother stole something from me. Interesting. Melly Gibson. What he took is very important to a lot of very dangerous people. Find him, because if you don't, I'll bring the weight of this whole institution down on you both. Sharon, show our guests the door. Mm. We made a big mistake coming here. You're my brother, Frankie. We have to strike first. And I need all the help I can get. How are we supposed to believe a guy in an ascot can pull this off? It's a cravat. If we're gonna take on the Continental, every freak in that hotel will be after us. Oh, that's lovely. We need guns. Lots of guns. This is more than vengeance. This is justice. Can you dig it? Let's take this house and everything that comes with it. And away we go. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The Continental. From the world of John Wick, official trailer in the books. <clears throat> What'd you think? Um, do you want me to go first? Yeah. Uh, I am less interested. Yeah, I was now. gonna say it definitely lessened my interest. Um, do you know what it is? Yeah. It's the it's the funky disco that I'm not feeling. Okay. I'm not feeling because there's two reasons. I'm not feeling how. How playful and acrobatic it is. Yeah. That's not John Wick. Well, again, this again, is from the world of John Wick. I, I, so. I know that. God damn it. Look. It says it right there in the fucking title. What I'll say is, yes, I understand what you're saying. I agree with you. I also understand that they want to differentiate a little bit. Yeah. They want this to be a little, like, like the, the amount of. I don't even want to say personality. The amount of quirkiness that they're giving to the—I was going to say residents, but they don't live there. <laughs> so I guess the uh, guests at the Continental. Yeah. Just all the assassins, like like we get in John Wick, especially when they do like they they send out the thing to everyone, and we get to see like little things of different people who yeah, are involved in this network. But not every one of them is like a Mortal Kombat character, right? That's the problem. This is like they're trying to copy the Raid 2. Yeah. In that, like, everybody has, like, yeah, like a quirky yeah. little thing. Yeah. Here's, here's like, Knife Girl. Here's, you know, uh, Mask Girl with, like, nunchucks right. or something. It's, it's like, it's silly. Yeah. It feels like a fucking fighting game. 
Yeah. I'm not into it. The minute she did the back, the backwards, yeah, like the kick. scorpion yeah, little yeah, yeah. sting kick or whatever, I was like, no, this is this is shit because it's too the 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 delivery of that kick yeah. does not have enough leverage, enough force, enough velocity, enough anything to do anything. Sure. It would just be like being hit on the head like that. Yeah. It would do absolutely fucking nothing to you. Well, you can't do it. It wouldn't do anything to you. You don't know that. If that girl did that to me, it wouldn't do anything. You don't. For all you know, it would stove your head in. <laughs> it would just crack my melon in half. Exactly. Hey. You never know. If that's if that's how we want to pretend. If, if you want to say that the things we've seen John Wick do in this series. Yeah. Could happen. Him shooting a bunch of people? There are some other things that are a little more questionable. Hmm. Not really. A little bit. Not really. A couple things. No, I mean, he fell like like 19 stories and got up and walked away. But... That's one of them. <laughs> but he's John Wick. I know. He has like he has magic. Or well, that might be. Well, he has a bulletproof suit, so he landed He on does have suit. a bulletproof suit. That's true. Yeah. You got to uh, remember, this is John Wick is later, so the technology is better. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's right. Um. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. I definitely get it. Like, I think they felt like the 70s yeah. lends itself to that kind of funkiness. Plus, I think it's interesting because, especially in the first John Wick, that is mostly just, like, gun foo, right? Like, it's yeah. mostly the gun stuff. Yeah. You can definitely see he can fight. He can definitely have style and stuff like that. But most of his kills are with a gun. As it gets a little later in the series, as they go along and they expand it a little more, they start bringing in more Eastern influences. I feel like they're what they're trying to do with this is is give it like almost like the Warriors, mm-hmm. in that everybody has like their little faction. Mm-hmm. And they all do their little thing, right? And so one of them is like, one of them is the black exploitation yeah. people. One of them is the like Chinese, like you know. So they're gonna bring in like kung fu, like they're gonna. But yeah, they're gonna bring in like kung fu, right, right, right. Like crouching. That's tiger, what I'm saying. Yeah, dragon, they're they're doing fu. it like like an old like martial arts film. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's what it feels like they're doing with this. They're trying to blend and meld all those together into this oh, and yeah. just say, this is part of the John Wick universe. To where like Winston is our surrogate. He's the grounded character that we're supposed to like identify with because he'll have the most like normal fighting style. Yeah. And everyone else will be like eccentric. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And it's just like, which I, by default, either way will make him the most boring character. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he's already we he's already, already he's like he's not a, a fascinating character. He's a yeah. good little side character. Yeah. I don't think he's enough to carry this. No. So, so that's why they did what they did. Yeah. They're like, well, now we need a colorful group of like clowns, basically. It feels like twisted metal without the cars. <laughs> right. It's like everybody's like a little character with like a quirky thing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm definitely not that interested. I wasn't that interested to begin with, just because I was like, yeah. if it's not John Wick, I'm probably not interested in a John Wick universe. I'll, again, I'll check out the ballerina, especially if it has a decent trailer, you know. But I feel like they're also able to spend more focused time on making those action scenes in that movie stand out. Yeah rather than what they can do in this, which is a much longer version. You can already tell the production value is not the same. It's not shot the same. It has that 70s fade to it. So, eh. Yeah, yeah I think I'm passing. I don't, I just don't understand why they couldn't just set it in the 70s and then just, just shoot it like John Shoot it the same way. I know. Yeah. Like, make the world feel the same just earlier. Yeah. Because now it no longer feels like the world of John Wick. It feels like the 70s. Right. It just feels like normal, normal Earth 70s. Whereas John Wick doesn't really feel real. Yeah. It almost feels like he's fighting inside of like Dark City. <laughs> right, right, right. Like right. a make-believe. Well, yeah, because we've seen him like on the streets and stuff like that. It's like... Yeah. It almost like nothing in the, on the streets affects him in any way. Yeah. 
and everyone is like a secret like right. like op or whatever and you're just like yeah. it, it's wild but yeah this 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 almost like it, like it grounded it too much in reality yeah and then just made the characters extraordinary right 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 but it's mm. like no you gotta reverse yeah, the other way you want the world to feel unreal yeah the characters i mean they're all they're all just assassins yeah and it's just it's it's quickest it's the quickest means that's why most of them use guns yeah, it's about I, getting the job done, not being stylish. Let me ask stylish. you this. Would you have been more interested... Okay. I don't know. I, I'm kind of, like, torn as to... Number one, I wouldn't have gone with Winston. Right. Like, I don't need to see Winston's story. No. Uh, his story works fine as is, right? So I don't need to see that. Although apparently that's what we're getting. We're getting how he took over the Continental. Uh, that's the whole story of this, sh- this show. Um, but I'm almost interested in like going back to when this Assassin Network started and seeing it like build. The founding of the table. Yeah. So like I wouldn't have done the Continental. I would have called it the table. The table. The beginning of John Wick. Right. Or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean the that would have been interesting because because here's the thing, here's the problem. Like to make a show, so if you don't do something like this, right? The other option that it would be the most common, um, kind of like the first go to pitch in the room would be like, let's just grab another character somewhere else in the world who's kind sure. of like John Wick. No, I'll tell you right now, the number one pitch would be let's show how John Wick became John Wick. Yeah, like, let's like, do a prequel, a prequel of John Wick. The only reason that that feels, I know, little, I know. it just feels sweaty that like someone, would, sure. someone in the room would be like, "Come on, guys!" Like, oh, we, of course, we can't get someone who impersonates no, Keanu no, no, Reeves. No, 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 I know, and that's why I'm saying. But that was the first pitch, I guarantee. Sure, it. sure. But what? But then I think I think the, the sure. somewhere in the next one, would which be is like, why we're getting ballerina. Yeah, exactly. Like it's like let's get a story from someone else, you know, whatever. And like it, it's a guy who's kind of like John Wick. The only reason that doesn't work though is because the John Wick series that we already have is a globe trotting series. Yeah. He goes everywhere and he is still like, he is the guy. That's what like, I'm saying. It would be like making a Godzilla movie, but about a, a, another Kaiju that's similar to Godzilla, right? but not as good and not as famous. Yeah. And people were like, like, where's this, where's this Kaiju been like the entire, right. Like, well, he's always all, been there. All, all we know is Godzilla. Right. So like, is he not terrorizing? Like, where, you know, where, who, where where does he terrorize? Yeah. Yeah. Because like he, yeah, I mean, John Wick goes everywhere, and he's still he's still the boogeyman everywhere he goes. Exactly. It's not like he goes to like, you know, he goes to Italy, and then they're like they're like, oh well, John, you're only like the boogeyman in America. We got yeah, our own. We guy have our here. own boogeyman here. Yeah, and he's actually better than you. Whatever. Like, there's none of that. He's still he's like the no, number he's one. The he's the most feared. Yeah. As I was saying, it's kind of, they made themselves, they painted themselves into a corner. I mean, not really, though, because, like, I mean, they, yes, they did. For anything other than John for, Wick. Yeah, movies, like they, that's they what did I mean. for spinoffs, yeah. but for, for John Wick, they just go, they can go wherever they want. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm just saying for anything else, yeah. they kind of painted themselves into a corner. Therefore, we're going to get something like this, which is tangentially related, has some characters we know. See, that's the part where they fucked up. I think if you just, like you said, if we would have done like the table, yeah. something so far removed in time yeah. that like there is no connection to John Wick, right? that would be a little more interesting. Again, so because think of it like this. Literally, dude, if you called it the table, each season is a leg, mm. right? Because you're building that table on which John Wick sits. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's all you got to do. And each one could be a different era to show how it ends up where he is with its current setup. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. You can show like the, the very first people who sat at the table. Right. The first founders, they would be like the, the king assassins or whatever. Right. I mean, how far back do we go? Right. That's like that's the, yeah. You know? The beginning of time. Is itself. it the beginning of time? Maybe. Yeah. Was Jesus the head of the table originally? He was a carpenter. Did he build the table? Yeah, he probably built the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. I, I. It didn't sound like a good idea to begin with. I wasn't blown away by a teaser. 
not blown away by a trailer. Yeah, I'm just I'm yeah, I'm just not, not into the I'm not into the like yeah, funky disco, you know, whatever. I'm just like I don't care. It looks it looks sure. silly. And yeah. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I think it's there's more like a a level of camp to this that there's not to the John Wick movies. Yeah. And that's a tougher pill to swallow if you're coming from those movies. And you're expecting this to kind of continue on that. If this was something else, it'd probably probably be fine. Yeah, probably. It'd probably be like an okay little peacock show that, you know, it'd be like nice Twisted little, Metal. Yeah, it'd be like a nice little crime thing. Yeah. People, sure. People be like, oh, did you check out? It's actually pretty good. It's a little it's a little cheesy, but it's good. Yeah. And like, you'd, you know, you'd watch it and you'd be like, all right, like, and, you know, inoffensive little action romp or whatever. Yeah. But, the, yeah, the fact that they put John Wick's name on it. <laughs> the only way to sell it yeah yeah and then he's like i'm gonna need a lot of guns he just like says it and you're like no i know yeah no it just doesn't have that it doesn't have that keanu reeves nope that classic like stoner slash (laughs) neo Slash cold blooded killer. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. With the weird awkward pauses that don't make sense, but then like when you hear it you're like, God, that's fucking good. Yeah. Like what a perfect delivery of that line, even though it's it it sucked. <laughs> it's like the worst delivery possible, but he makes it work. Of course. Yeah. Well, like I said, I think I'm passing on this one. Yeah. Unless I hear amazing reviews. Then I might check it out just to you see, won't. but I am not you holding won't. my breath. Yeah, they're all the the real creators of John Wick are all focused on other stuff, so yeah, they're not they're, they have nothing to do with this. I know, so yeah. Oh well, yeah. Let us know in the comments down below if you're excited for this. Yeah, are you planning to watch it? You know what what's drawing you to this? Does it does it feel like John Wick to you? Yeah. And why? And how? And why? Why and how? And how are we wrong? And you're right. <laughs> right. And then and then answer why that's not right, and we're actually right, and you're wrong. Mm-hmm. No, that uh, my reply will be that. Yeah. So just let us know why we're wrong, and then I'll let you know why you're wrong. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it this time, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>